Hey friends, this is Erin at Bottomless Bricks with a short video for you about how I made this Lego shake table. Give it a watch and if you're inspired, maybe you can make one of your own. They're a lot of fun. Okay, so I started out with just a regular base plate. And the first thing I did is that I framed it out using Technic lift arms. As I flip it over here, you can see I added extra support around the frame so it would support the base plate. And I was not gonna hold 40 pounds, but this will certainly hold up to any kind of smaller structure you might wanna put on this table. That hinged arm in the middle is gonna play a role a little later on when I add the motor. That's actually what's gonna make the whole table shake. Okay, well the next thing that I did was I built a slightly larger frame than the base plate frame with a little bit of room on either side so it would be able to slide back and forth. And then underneath that frame that you see in red, I just used random plates to fill in a floor, leaving a space in the middle where I knew I wanted the motor to go. And the other thing that I did was I used two by four light bluish gray tiles anywhere where the base plate frame was going to rub on the flooring of this frame that would reduce friction when I go to use the motor. So this is what I used to power the table. This is just an older version of Lego power functions. There's the power pack and it has a motor. The motor I boxed in using Technic bricks, lift arms and pins because that thing is pretty strong and I know it would spin itself off of that plate if it wanted to. And the whole thing is just connected using lift arms, pins, Technic bricks and connected to the frame with bricks. I'm pretty new to using Technic pieces so there's probably a better way to do this and I would love to hear it. So if you can come up with a better way to connect these two things to the frame without making that frame shimmy off the table then please leave that information in the comments because I'm still working on this one but this is what's worked for me for now and we're gonna go with it. And here I attached it back to the frame. The last thing I need to do is attach the cables. The one from the motor goes to the switch and the switch I need to attach to the battery pack. Okay, you can see I've turned it around and now we're going to attach the motor to the base plate frame. There's no gears. It's a really simple mechanism. These are the only pieces I use to go from the motor to the base plate frame. Nice and simple. We're gonna put the axle directly into the motor. It looks just like that. And then we're gonna attach the lift arm, which we have attached to the base plate frame at the moment. You can see there's room for it to slide back and forth. We're just gonna put it right on the axle sticking out. And the last thing that I'm gonna to need to do is just to pin it on there uh, using a spacer just like that. Super basic, not difficult. You can do this. Okay, the last thing we're going to want to do is to put the base plate back on, but we're going to want to tack it down somehow. I just use these little Technic pieces and pins, but you can use whatever you have on hand. That's because when you build on the base plate and then you put it on the table, when it starts to shake, it want, the building wants to just pull up the base plate and fall off the table. So this will help hold it in place when it's working. And that's all there is to it. I hope you get to build one of your own. They're a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this inspired you to either make your own shake table or something else amazing out of Lego. And if you get a chance, please subscribe to my channel because I have some other really cool videos I'm working on of some other fun builds and I don't want you to miss out on a single thing.